Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about how to connect to a MySQL database from uh, the MySQL workbench, but we're going to be connecting you to the MySQL database that's on a server that's inside a Docker container going through the Nginx proxy manager. Okay, so let me just show you what I've got going on here. So inside on on my server okay on my server I have two things the first thing is the nginx proxy manager that is pointing it's taking a uh, a URL a domain name and uh, which I have right here whoopsie let's just open this up so you can see it it's taking a domain name and whenever I go to this domain it's going to point me to the Docker container on the port 3306 because that's what I have set up as the port for my database. Alright, so that Docker container is right here, the database container. It does not have any ports open, so that Nginx proxy manager is pointing me to this container and um, it's not any exposed ports. And so in order to connect to that, we have to um, go into MySQL Workbench. We're going to pick the option standard TCP slash IP over SSH. Under parameters, you're going to put in not the domain name, but the, um, the IP address of the server over port number 22. Um, this is going to be the username of the SSH key that you're using. This is going to be the, um, the actual private key for that SSH connection. And under host name, you might think, oh, I need to put the name of the Docker container, but that's actually not true. You want to put 0, 0, 0.0.0.0. 0. And then the MySQL server port, we've got 33067. And I think that the reason it's 67 is because... I don't remember what the reason is, but that's what you have to do. And you also can put in the username for the database and also the, the password for the database as well. And if you do that, you press test connection, you're actually going to get a, just hang on one moment, a connection failed. Oh, that is because of network problems, actually. Let me try it again. Hang on. This did work just a moment ago. Okay, you press test connection. Now that my, my network is working again, you put the password in for the database. Press OK. And then it says connection successful. All right, so that's how I did it. Um, I got the Nginx proxy manager. My domain name is pointing to the, uh, the Docker container on that port. And then in my actual Docker container, if we look down here at my terminal, this is the Docker container that I'm trying to connect to. The port on th this is, you can see it right here, 0 0.0003-3067. So whatever's written right here is what you need to use for the uh, IP address and the port. All right, make sense? All right, cool. Yeah, that's uh, it's just everything I wanted to share.